Hi, I'm going to show you how to make an easy frame in Adobe Photoshop CS3. First we need to open the program and go up to the top where it says File. And then of course we're going to just open a picture. We're going to select the picture for this. We're going to open it. When it comes up here I have the grid lines on it and I hit Control H to turn those grid lines off. <clears throat> now I just want to put a frame around this picture and put it out on the web. <clears throat> we only have one layer here. Let's add an extra layer. New layer so that we're not doing anything to the picture originally. And I have it over here selected. The selection key is, high, is selected so I'm going to grab something around about right like here that's going to kind of put mark the area that I want inside the frame. Now I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to select the inverse which is the opposite <clears throat> and my cursor now is now you can see the lines are around the outside. Now over on the left here we have the pitcher which fills in an area, paint bucket, and if you right click on it you might also have a gradient tool there. You want to make sure that uh, if you see a gradient tool that you click on it and choose the paint bucket. <coughs> Down here we're going to select the color for our uh, frame. I'm going to make it a nice dark, well, let's see, should we make it purple? Okay gray, okay. I'm going to hit OK because that looks like a color and it will show up down here. We still have the cursor, I mean the selection of the paint bucket. We're going to come over into the side and we're going to click it. Okay, now we've clicked that and it's all filled up with that color. And This is our layer. Now I want to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. So I'm going to go to Filter and I'm going to go down to Render and there's a wonderful lens flare. Here we have a little crossbar hair that we will bring over to the corner and drop and then we'll hit, this is on the 5300 mm zoom. We're going to hit OK and now you can see there's kind of a nice little shiny corner. <coughs> I'm going to do that again just for general principles. Going down to the render filter Render, Lens Flare. This time I'm going to do it on the bottom. Click on that corner and hit OK. <coughs> and there we have it. I'm going to select, deselect the whole thing. Let's go layer. Let's change the layer here. I'm going to do a drop shadow on this layer and I'm going to bevel it. Contour. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go back over here to the selection and I'm going to select me the section that will be the best frame. Okay, we can truncate all that by just going to Image and Crop. Select, deselect, and we now have the picture in a frame ready to go out on the web. So it looks a little bit more professional than just the edge. Anyways, you would simply do File, Save Web for Devices, and select whichever one is pretty. Thank you.